This is really cool. Now I know it looks like there's a green screen behind me, but what makes this really exciting is you can pick the green screen up and move it wherever you want. The company is called Bristol VFX, and Mark Chapman is the managing director. Mark, welcome. Uh, thank you very much. Tell us about what Bristol VFX makes. Uh, Bristol VFX, we specialize in making blue and green screen solutions. Um, so we produce uh, basically fabric and paint, and developed on from that, we. We also produce uh, Lycra, which we make body suits from, and we do frameworks to support the screens. And so as time has gone on, people have said, do you do this? And we will produce a solution. We do adhesive tape, we do vinyl, we do vinyl flooring like we've got on the floor here. But Mark, Mark, it's green. Yes. I mean, why do we need to care about the particular color of green? Well, it's more, more towards the end user wants to have a, 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 a green environment, for instance, that looks compatible all the way through it. In reality, you can use, you know, the shade of green can vary a little bit. It doesn't really, you know, depending on the technology, it doesn't matter quite so much. But, you know, if you've walked into a green space, if it looks compatible and the same green all over, it fills you with a bit more confidence at one that looks like a patchwork of colours, um, which you know, then one's confidence feels, you know, a bit stuck if it doesn't look good. So we like to provide as perfect a green screen solution as you can get, or blue. Now, why should we work with Bristol VFX? Why not some other green screen developer? Well, we're nice people to deal with. <laughs> um, uh, we, we've, we don't do anything else. We're, not, we're, we're just producing materials and we have them ready for use, which we cut large quantities of the the paint and the fabric so that they can be drawn off, especially for the film industry, at a moment's notice. Now the ideal environment is where everything is permanent and it's painted onto the wall, but most of us can't work in a permanent space. Do you make portable green screen environments? Yes, we do do a, a small pop-up system, which is called a VFX 75, um, but this system we're standing in here is a VFX 100. Now this has been developed as a, as a, a semi-permanent solution. So that basically you have a framework with a screen that's mounted in it and then a we do PVC floor that goes on the floor and to give you a, a transition from screen to floor we've developed a coving system that fits into it um, which we have like a little video we've got running that shows it but you can see behind me there's the screen in a framework and the coving below it and um, we found this a, a very successful product and um, where media studios, uh, production studios, universities and colleges have found, well, that's, we found a very useful market there of people that want what we are offering. How much is it? Well, it, how long's a piece of string, I guess you could say, <laughs> but th this one we're standing in at the moment, um, which is approximately three meters by two and a half meters in an L format, it's 2.8 meters high, if you took the frame, the screen, the cove, the flooring, you're talking about two and a half thousand pounds. Isn't and it? for the portable one, the small one, what and kind that, of price that? For one, that one, the maximum size of the portable, which is, you put it in your car, so to speak, and move it about, it's 2.3 meters square, is the maximum sort of size of it. We can add a skirt to it, so it then it forms its natural curve onto the floor, and then you can either add more fabric forward onto the floor or a piece of PVC. Uh, the VFX 75 starts at 450 pounds. And for people that want to learn more, where can they go on the web? Um, we have a website, which is um, www.bristolvfx.com. Bristolvfx.com. That's it. Mark, thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Mm -hmm.